Hey guys, uh, Steve been in with Israeli News Live, and uh, we do have some weird things happening here in the country, and uh, something that I, of course, I guess we shouldn't say we haven't already anticipated these things to come. Uh, we've been getting intelligence information, uh, but it's been one-sided thus far, so I really need to find out from both sides what's really going on here. Uh, but uh, we'd already been hearing about intelligence information starting next year. There could be a civil war here in the United States. There's a lot of talk uh, coming out of Washington. Again, though, it's the it's all this hype uh, under the Republican uh, Republicans that are that are talking about this, and uh, you know, I mean, I'm a Republican myself. It doesn't really matter. I don't care which 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 affiliation you were to have, they're all corrupt. So I just have uh, chose to, to vote for Jesus Christ, and I know I'll win in that case there. That's, that's, there's no other election for me when it comes to that. Uh, but at any rate there, the, the President of the United States has activated U.S. Marine Reserves for emergency within the United States to stop an illegal coup. That's what's being reported by News War. Uh, news wars there says order says emergency will come with little warning cities threats within the homeland click below for live coverage on this uh, says in an unprecedented move president trump has activated the u.s marine reserves to respond to an emergency within the united states citing threats to the homeland uh, alex jones breaks it all down live and that's what alex jones is saying and uh, in fact, when I pulled the article up, I didn't even know it was Alex Jones that was talking about this subject here. But um, we do know also that the Huffington Post has reported the White House is ordered not to destroy records of Trump's interactions with foreign leaders. Uh, it is pretty much uh, Judge Amy Berman. Uh, Jackson also demanded preservation of all records official attempting to return clawback, lockdown, or recall information. So there is a major push on the Democratic side for impeachment as now they have a second whistleblower that has come forward. Uh, and I know that there's a, from what I have been hearing just listening to news, like for example, I was listening to the Fox News on the radio this morning and they were talking about, oddly enough, on Fox, they were talking about there were Republicans that are fearful to speak out uh, or even speak up because of fear of what might happen to them in the, in, in the elections coming up if they're not siding with President Trump. Uh, there's also fear of Democrats uh, not willing to really want to rock the boat with Trump because they're in heavily Republican areas and they're afraid they could lose their seat as a result. Yeah, you know, Friends, I got to tell you something. When I'm looking at things like this and I see that there is so much uh, fear and, of course, the backing for President Trump is by one particular, really more strongly by one particular Christian uh, group that weighs a lot of power, that's very pro-Zionist. Uh, agenda. And when I say pro-Zionist, listen, I'm all for Zionism of the Jewish people that just want to go home because they're wanting to see the Messiah. That's the way they believe it is supposed to be. All right. That's, that's not a big deal. But what we're talking about is this Zionist agenda that drives out the neighbors, kills all the people in the Middle East, making way for uh, this mass exodus of the house of Israel that's supposed to come home. But then again, there's others that argue that, well, the house of Israel is already home. I'm telling you plain out. The scripture says, though Israel was as the sand of the sea, yet only a remnant would return. And that house of Israel returned 2,000 years ago. And the prophecy was fulfilled over uh, 2,000 years ago when we see over in the book of Acts these Judeans that were scattered all the nations that spoke different languages, in fact, 
were there in Jerusalem when they saw the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. We saw Zechariah 8.23 being fulfilled at that very time there. Uh, many other scriptures as well. We've been getting into this on other issues. But the thing is, what we're seeing right now is that, uh, or, or what I'm seeing as I look at this, this is an orchestrated event. Uh, and I wouldn't be a bit surprised if there's Democrats on board with this event as well, uh, because you have to understand, even though Democrats are calling for this impeachment right now, the president, what many people are not looking at and they're not really focusing the attention on, and that is if they threaten to impeach the president, there is a play in this. There is a plan because after all, these Democrat politicians, their pockets are padded also by the Israeli lobby. So they're playing the card as well. And I've, I have been saying this now for, for several months. I believe that there's going to be some type of crazy nonsense that happens in this country, whether it be a coup, whether it be, uh, I call it a staged coup, whether it be a civil war in this nation. Uh, all this will be staged because why? They've got to collapse the U.S. The U.S. has served its purpose. Israel is leaning towards communist China to be their new military world power. This is why you see Putin raising up China like some great nation now. And it's nothing against the Chinese people. There's many good Chinese people, good Chinese Christians that love God, and I, my heart goes out for them as well but they're wanting to bring communism to the United States. Well, you got to collapse the nation to be able to bring communism in. And of course, by doing so, it will force those Jews living in America, just like they forced the ones in Germany and in Europe to go to Israel to help create this Rothschild invention over in the Middle East. Now, some people would say, Steve, wait a minute. The Bible says the Jews are going to return in the last day. I don't doubt that. All right, They were returning just fine under the Ottoman Empire without all the murdering of their neighbors. Now, I know that there are many uh, that like to say, in fact, uh, I don't have it right here at my hand, but I will bring it out later. I brought it out actually last night uh, on our broadcast on Steve and Yana chat last night. So if you go check out that broadcast, you'll see what I'm talking about. But um, the issue was, was who is your neighbor? Uh, it's kind of interesting because Jana was going into that last night on our chat program there. Who is your neighbor? And she says, well, the rabbis will tell you that your neighbor has nothing to do with, um, uh, the, of course, you know, except for other Jews. That's your neighbor. That's what the Orthodox Jewish thinking is. And it just so happened. I mean, this was the providence of God. I actually had Qumran scrolls opened up. And that was the very issue in the Qumran scrolls uh, that was a canonical uh, scroll that had, I think is in the book of Psalms, but it was a psalm that was one verse that was taken out. Wasn't even in our canon, but it's actually, I think, in, I, I forget which one it was. I think it's something like chapter 27 or something, but there was a verse missing. And the whole premise there was who your neighbor actually was. And no, it wasn't just another Jewish tribe. It was the Gentile nations that surrounded Israel. And God was angry with Israel saying, don't oppress your neighbors. Wow. You know, you know it's amazing what you can discover that only refutes all the garbage that we see coming out today. And, and this is the whole point. Look, right now, they, they need to totally bring about chaos in this nation. They want to force the elite Jews of America to return to Israel, and they're going to rebuild this whole land. They need more bodies over there to do so. Uh, and at the same time, the American people are just falling for it. I wouldn't get involved in any kind of coup. I wouldn't get involved in these militias that want to do this or that. Or, you know, this is all nonsense, you know, and you're going to die for what? I got, the, I got the papers out on Trump right now. I'm going through these today. I'm going to try to reach out to the contact that I have that gave me this. I've got only a tenth of the thousand page document here. 
And this document, though, does show, you know, they talk, Trump talks about Biden and, and what his son did over in Ukraine. Hey, I believe the president. He's, he's, I don't doubt for a moment that he's not right about what he says. Right? But the thing is, pot can't call kettle black. Trump's just as involved in, in Ukraine all the way back to 2006. I used to say 2007, but I actually see 2006 here. And I'm going to bring some highlights in this. Believe me, the, 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 the months it would take to comb through all this information and make heads or tails out of it is very difficult. But um, I want to hit some highlighted points here. Even his alias name, John Miller, yeah, John Miller had an LLC in Gulf Breeze, Florida. That was Trump's alias and the information that goes behind that. So, you know, look, I would say this. At this point now, you know, the Republicans need a better candidate for president. I, I just tell you, I mean, I'm not into any of it because I already know from working with the government how crooked they all are. Uh, I, I, and let me show you something. President Obama, in January 6th of 2012, was re-elected. You know, he was already put in, into office, right? Did you know that Trump, though, started in September 17th of 2012, Trump Presidential Incorporated? Talk about the lies that you've been told. You know, you'd be surprised some of the things that I have sitting here. And they talk about, oh, there's no Russian collusion. <laughs> Answer me this, uh, President Trump. The meeting that was done on uh, June 9th, 2016, the meeting with Donald Trump Jr., Jared Kushner, Paul Manafort, uh, Natalia Velez Kankaya, Rob Goldstone, Ike Kavladaze, who is a Russian, that worked for Ara, Aras Agalavrov, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, Aras Agalavrov, an employee there in New Jersey, and Renita Akmich, I, I can't even say these names. They're just totally over my head there. What was going on with those things? I'd like to know what the connections are here to Escobar and some of these Italian crime families. Very interesting information here. So, at, at, at any rate, you know, and one other thing I'll bring out as well, because I know there's a lot of people that love President Trump. And uh, I would have loved to seen President Trump be a good president. Could have brought about some kind of stability in the world, worked out the differences with Russia. Uh, I'm finding out just as, you know, even back when I took up a lot for President Putin, only to find out, Putin just as much involved with the Chabad organization and bringing about this new world order as President Trump is. And, uh, and what's really uh, disheartening to me is to see how that the Christian people have been so duped into believing all this nonsense. Um, because it looks like it's for Israel. Because it looks like that we have a president, finally, that stands up for Israel. But the problem is, guys, what, what a lot of people are not paying attention to. If you truly want to stand for Israel, then get Jesus Christ to the Jewish people. And yet, in churches all over the nation, Messianic movements, Hebrew Roots movements, they're all now siding with this New World Order agenda not to speak to the Jews. Don't say anything about Jesus Christ to the Jewish people. I, I'm, I'm sorry, my brain is in a million different directions right now because of the things that are going on. Uh, also, this here was uh, on there. The whistleblower complaint alleges that Trump's pressured uh, of a foreign power to influence the 2020 election. They got the second whistleblower that's come forth. I, I don't know, like I said, I don't know what all the issues are there. I, I really can't help but believe all this is being staged in the first place. Um, 
Is it because our economy is at the very end of its ropes and it can no longer survive any longer and the only way they can make it look like it wasn't the economy is just devastate the nation with internal strife? You know? I don't know. I, I know there's going to be a lot of people out there, pastors that have their YouTube channels and all these uh, people that are supporting President Trump are going to be out there sounding the alarm that the president is under attack. Our nation was recovering economically, and uh, uh, this is a horrible thing, and it's going to send us into a horrible situation. Um, well, you know, listen, if making America great again is the only way we can do it is to sell weapons and bombs to all the nations that kill everybody in the Middle East, then no, I don't think that God wants America to be great again. I, I mean, if you think that that's okay, hey, I guess everybody each to his own. But I think that when you're out there just blowing people up, little children and stuff, you know, and I know some people, they don't just don't care. You know, oh, they're Muslims. I don't care. They're just Muslims. They're evil anyway. Well, you start to sound like Talmudic rabbis. And do you know that the Talmudic rabbis believe that you as a Gentile are naturally inclined to have an evil nature and that there's nothing good about you in the first place you're considered to be according to the Talmudic theology you're considered to be no more than a dog and yet Yeshua when the one woman that came to him he said he never saw such great faith nowhere in Israel did he ever see such great faith as that one woman that she had that was persistent that was a Gentile a lot of difference there, isn't it? But according to Talmudic beliefs. Anyway, I'll quit rambling. God bless you. Thank you for listening. I am I am working on this today. Uh, I do, I've been wanting to work on the feast as well because we are in the time of uh, the Feast of Trumpets uh, to share with you how the feast have already been fulfilled because many people believe they're still yet to be fulfilled, uh, but that's not the case. And, uh, you know, and nothing wrong, though. I'm not saying that if you want to uh, celebrate Sukkot or Passover, uh, you know, sure, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, in fact, uh, if you're doing communion services in your church or wherever it may be, you are keeping Passover. And Yeshua said, do it as often as in remembrance of him. So in that case, it's not just in the uh, the, the, the spring of the year, but, but Passover is to be remembered all the time. All right, so think about it. Anyway, blessings to you all. Thank you, moderators, and I will, I keep forgetting about this, but I will get in there and get that situation fixed with how fast comments can be uploaded. God bless you.